Your doctor has told you that you have a hernia. But what does that actually mean? In general terms, we can say that a hernia occurs when the layers that make up the abdominal wall weaken. In other words, the fabric of muscle and other tissues which protect the gut develops a defect or weakness. Through that defect, the peritoneum and perhaps other organs push their way outward forming a lump which can be felt and sometimes seen protruding from the abdomen. During normal childhood development, boys' testes slowly descend from the interior of the abdomen down into the scrotum. They pass through the abdominal wall by way of a natural passageway called the inguinal canal. In men, the inguinal canal contains blood vessels that supply the testes as well as the vessel that carries sperm to the penis. Hernias that occur due to a weakness in the abdominal wall at the inguinal canal are called inguinal hernias. And not surprisingly, men are 25 times more likely than women to experience a hernia in this area. Some inguinal hernias press directly through the floor of the inguinal canal. Others follow the route taken by the blood vessels that supply the testes. This kind of hernia, called an indirect hernia, can even push all the way into the scrotum. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth, and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. In the operating room, a nurse will begin preparation by shaving the abdomen. The anesthesiologist will begin to administer anesthesia, most probably general anesthesia. The surgeon will then apply antiseptic solution to the skin around the area where the incisions will be made. Place a sterile drape around the operative site. After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, a small incision is made below the umbilicus. Then a hollow needle will be inserted through the abdominal wall, and the abdomen will be inflated with carbon dioxide. An umbilical port is created for the laparoscope. Two or more incisions will be made, with care taken to keep the openings as small as possible. Once in place, the laparoscope will provide video images that allow the surgeon to inspect the hernia and the surrounding tissues. Once the hernia has been located, the surgeon carefully opens the peritoneum in order to reveal the hernia sac. Next, the surgeon carefully draws the hernia sac back into the abdominal cavity. A mesh patch is then inserted over the opening in the peritoneum and is secured in place with surgical staples. This patch reinforces the weakened abdominal wall and helps prevent a second hernia from developing in the same space. Finally, the peritoneum is closed over the mesh, taking care to protect the spermatic cord. All of the instruments are withdrawn. The carbon dioxide is allowed to escape and the skin is closed with sutures or staples. Finally, a sterile dressing is applied.